in part, Quran chapter 2, verse 185, which is about Ramadan fasting, states, Allah intends ease for you, not hardship. So what does this mean? This means if your Ramadan fasting is not easy, then you are not fasting the Ramadan fasting properly according to Quran chapter 2 verse 185. So if your Ramadan fasting is causing hardship, you are not fasting properly according to Quran chapter 2 verse 185. Now, this gets all confusing because in many Islamic communities, many Muslims believe that the Ramadan fasting is about overcoming hardship. But that would be against Quran chapter 2 verse 185. Ramadan fasting is about overcoming desires. So if your Ramadan fasting is causing hardship and you think it's about overcoming that hardship, then you are not fasting properly according to Quran chapter 2 verse 25. So let me give you an example. Um, for me, by noontime, I like to have a cup of coffee, decaf. And I say decaf because as I've gotten older, I can't do a lot of caffeine. So I like a noon cup of coffee. And during Ramadan, I can't do it. I have that desire, but I overcome that desire and I don't do it. It's not a form of overcoming a suffering. It's about overcoming a desire. And it's the same with feeling like I need some water. It's not a suffering I'm overcoming. I have a desire to drink some water and I don't do it. That's where your Ramadan fasting should be. It should be easy. And it should not be about overcoming suffering or overcoming hardship or overcoming difficulty. So that's very important because you need to get your fast to where it's easy and your fasting during Ramadan is not causing you to suffer. Your fasting during Ramadan is not causing you to have hardship. Your fasting during Ramadan is not causing you to have difficulty. Your fasting during Ramadan is just having you come up to desires that you're overcoming. You're not trying to overcome self-inflicted suffering, self-inflicted hardship, self-inflicted difficulty. Causing self inflicted suffering, causing self inflicted hardship, causing self inflicted difficulty is not chronic. So, let me explain this. This is a little confusing what I'm saying. And I know it's confusing because I know the Islamic communities and I know this general understanding how suffering is seen by a lot of Muslims as heading towards a blessing or having difficulty is going to lead to blessings or having some type of hardship is going to lead to a blessing and I'm not saying that's true and I'm not saying that it's not true I'm saying that has nothing to do with self-inflicted suffering self-inflicted difficulty self-inflicted hardship during Ramadan but a lot of Muslims believe that the Ramadan fasting is about overcoming suffering. But it's about overcoming desires. So, in the Quran, in Quran chapter 2, verse 185, in regards to Ramadan fasting, 
in part, it states, the law intends ease for you, not hardship. So get your Ramadan fasting to easy. Get it to where it's not hardship. Get it to where you're overcoming desires and not overcoming suffering. So yeah, that's what I want to share. And good luck on your fasting if you're fasting or if you're going to fast or if you've tried to fast and now you're not fasting. Just do your best and remember, Allah intends ease for you, not hardship. So, swim.